From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Andrew Adams. We had a little winter fun yesterday. Some kids enjoying some snowballs, or at least munching on them in Yukon. Note, if you're going to eat snow, don't eat any of the snow that's near or on roadways. That's dirty, filthy snow. I just wouldn't eat snow anyways, but I can't stop everyone, and no one can stop these guys. Uh, busy clearing the yard markers out uh, the football game in Midwest City last night. A nice winter day we had, or at least evening. Pretty crazy. We got half an inch almost in Will Rogers. That tied a daily record and left us one-tenth of an inch shy of our monthly average. Monday, I think we catch that at least here in Oklahoma City. And speaking of Oklahoma City, it is sunny right now across downtown on our Regency Cam and our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. Still chilly. 32 feels like 24 degrees outside. The freeze line is drifting farther to the north, so low 30s and upper 20s to the north. Most of us are starting to crack into the mid 30s for the most part. A couple 40s are starting to sprinkle in. Winds, though, still strong enough right now that we do have a wind chill. Feels like the mid and upper 20s in central Oklahoma. Feels like the low 30s out in western Oklahoma and still feels like the teens for some communities up in far north central Oklahoma. So chilly. We got a lot of sunshine though, that'll be nice. And then here's our next system that is going to be swinging its way through on Monday. It's our winter weather machine. It'll be chilly today and tomorrow. Tomorrow a little bit warmer, but not by much. Then that system arrives. First in Oklahoma City at least, we will see rain and then it'll transition into a mix and then snow through the afternoon and evening. Out in western Oklahoma, like far western Oklahoma in the Panhandle, more likely to see that snow longer, if not the entire time that this system comes through with mainly just the rain to the south. Much colder air still pulling up to the north from Canada. Another system down to the southwest on Wednesday. That one looks like it'll miss us, but it still impacts us even if we stay dry from this. Each one of these waves that comes through is going to reinforce our cold air, so we don't really have an opportunity to see any warming. And by next Saturday, we could be talking about more light snow. Beyond that, as we go into Thanksgiving week, look, just no warming really for most of the United States in the blue. That's below average to much below average. If you live in Florida, you're lucky. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, you're a little bit warmer than average, which isn't that incredibly warm. But for the most part, the country is going to be cold the next few weeks. 45 this afternoon in Oklahoma City, 50 or at least close to it in Altus, some low 40s to the north. So it feels like temperatures today, 40s and even some upper 30s. Up in Morgantown for the OU game, it'll be cool early on, 50, and then falling back into the 40s as you head through the game. Rain chance is also increasing throughout the game as well. So soggy and cold, it'll make for a difficult passing matchup, but I don't think West Virginia is that hot. I could see the Sooners pulling off the win. I could also see the Cowboys pulling off the win against Iowa State this afternoon in Stillwater. It'll be colder, low 40s throughout, but Iowa State, not that much going on up in Ames, Iowa this season. 26th tomorrow morning, Oklahoma City, 24 in Ponca City, Enid, and Alva. Near 30 in Altus. Wind chills early on tomorrow. Early churchgoers, keep this in mind. It'll feel like the teens and low 20s early on. By the afternoon, we warm up to 50 in Oklahoma City. Some 40s to the northwest, up to almost the mid-50s in southwest Oklahoma in the Panhandle, but then the temperatures come crashing down once again as we go through Monday. Highs in the 30s starts off with rain here in central Oklahoma, transitions to snow through the afternoon, mainly snow out west, and that's why they've got the bullseye for snow. Northwest Oklahoma and the Panhandle more likely to see about uh, one to three inches. We could see the occasional isolated two in any of that light blue shading, but we're looking mainly at less than an inch for a lot of us. And once again, the cold pattern, it's not going anywhere. We're staying cool no matter how you look at it. I mean, the warmest afternoons we have ahead, we're like, oh, it's going to be 50 degrees. How great. I still so, can't get yeah. over last night. I know. It the snow was like just came down. a winter wonderland. Exactly. And the flakes were. Huge. Oh, it was awesome. I was at the football game. Uh, I was shooting for News 9, and it started off great green turf. Everything mm -hmm. was great. Boom. Pelted down. Everything the poor guys <laughs> were sliding everywhere. Uh -huh. No one could keep the ball in their hands. I bet they were.